Hello guys, we're back at the shop. We're working on uh, just Mopar Joe's heads. We're getting ready to do our final valve job. And uh, we'll be back. Hello guys, I'm back. We're uh, We're honing these Edelbrock heads and we're giving the guides just a little bit more clearance, straightening them up. Got the P190 Sun and Guide hone. if you can see that there we're just about a tenth past zero about zero two plus or minus about not really minus uh you can see that it's about about a tenth pass, tenth or two. So that's the exhaust, and uh, we just basically straighten them up, put a little more cross hatch in there, a little more definition. You guys see me do this before. These were already home from the factory. But we're giving them a little bit more. Here's our exhaust valve. Feels really nice. Still got good suction on it. So now we're going to do some intake guides, and these will be a little bit smaller, but they're a, they're a little too tight right now. Uh, you can see there, I mean, it don't even have, that, that one's got about one and four tenths. I think that's a little bit too tight for our friend Mopar Joe, a little too tight for me, so I'm that one's the biggest and it's got about one and five, one and six tenths. So I'm gonna hone these and I'll be back. Hone them off camera. Okay, we're back. We've got our uh, intake guides. We're about, we're about zero, one and nine tenths, one and eight tenths. I mean, see that we're about two tenths at shy at zero. So about, so about one and eight, one and nine tenths. So we've only we've taken out oh about three four ten thousandths is all. Uh, 
you can see that little micro hone in there. You guys watch my videos, you've seen that before. You can see that low place there. That's from the factory where the machine, the stone never even touched there. And I could feel with some of them, they felt like they had a slide out of roundness. Uh, I'm gonna flip this head over and I'm gonna check it from the other side. Usually you wanna check uh, heads from the top and bottom side. I've measured down through there and they seem to be pretty straight. Uh, but I'm gonna flip it over and check the other side and I'll be back. Okay, I got one guy down here in exhaust and I'm gonna tweak it just a little bit from this side. Probably don't need very much. There we go, brought it right in. I don't know if you can, let's see if I can get that on the camera. About two tenths from zero. Two tenths from zero, and if you, there you go. And we're all pretty close. I might hit this intake right here just a smidge. About one and nine tenths, right there. About tenth and tenth, tenth and a half from zero. I'm gonna recheck my exhaust. And check these intakes. I'm happy with those. It's great. Always oh, like taking uh, good clean mineral spirits and uh, swabbing out the guides. You can see there, that's what we honed out of the guides. You can see how dirty that towel got. That's really not necessary, but I just I just wanted to show you they're not really they're not really loose. So there we have it.
Okay, I've got my my mic here, my trusty Brandon Sharp zero to one. There you go. We're zeroed out. Always want to check your mic while you're using it. Make sure you didn't get any trash or anything in in the contact the plunger. I'll be back. Now you have to watch this ticker head. The guide on that end, that this end of it is a little bit big. And it gets smaller as it goes down in there. That's from factory. These I can't, I'm gonna have to bear, like that one's almost uh, too big. But So all I'm gonna do, I'm not really gonna try to remove anything. Now see, the other head was the complete opposite. It was a lot smaller than this head. You, I can feel this in my drill motor. It's out of round. You can hear it goes under load down on the inside. So it's obviously crooked. This is another reason we do this is to put a little more precise dimension on that hole and to give it a little cross hatch. Just right side, a zero down in there. But in this end, it was a little bit big. I mean, it's okay, it's not gonna be a problem. But this is why it's important. This stuff needs to be tested. Can't assume anything. These heads were as different as night and day. I can even tell when I hone it, that, that first one was really out of round and tapered. I could feel it when I honed it. But down on the inside, this one's great. You can see there, about two tenths from zero. And these heads all actually do the same thing. This one here, can't take that much. We'll have to be very careful. I just want to hone the tight spots. see that about a tenth before zero that's good about zero at the top but you can see you can see up there at the top I've not even hardly touched that that's the way it was when it came from Metal Brock. All I'm trying to do is take what there, straighten up. If any out of roundness, I'm trying to take that out of it. This one's out of round. There you go, about a tenth or two from zero. I'm going down in there. Recheck. This one down here was a little bit bigger, but it's still okay, it's within tolerance. But like I said, this, so that first one and this one those were the two biggest guides in both heads out of 16. So you have to be very careful when you do those. So you can see up there, look at that dark shadow. I've not even touched there.
right underneath my thumbnail, that dark shadow. All I'm doing, ladies and gentlemen, I'm just trying to tweak this, get a little bit better. I want to make sure I don't have a tight guide, a tight spot somewhere. Let me flip this head over and I'll check the other side and I'll be here. I'm on. Had to hone three intake guides on the bottom. You can see I'm just before zero, about one, two tenths. So I'm get this on, on there. See, so as you can see, that's a That's almost three tenths, so I'm going to try to pull out a tenth or two. This is the last one. Every uh, sorry, this makes the third intake guide on the bottom. I had to tweak just a little bit. There you go. Pat. Hold that, make sure I got it straight. It's hard trying to look at the camera and then I'm standing to the right of the camera trying to make sure I get a shot. We're good to go. Here's our uh, guide home. This is our abrasive stick there. I always try to make sure I've got a good one. I keep it in good shape. Try to keep the chips and stuff out of it. Want to keep the stone from being loaded up, impacted with guide material. Heads are coming together nice. There you go. I'll be back. Okay, hey guys, we're back. We're uh, machining, doing a radius valve job on Joe's head. There you go. You see that seat pattern? Touching all the way around. Full radius valve job. The uh, factory seats were a bit small. You'll see in this next clip. I'll try to get it online, uh, get it recorded. Right now we're forming our radius. You can see down there in the bottom, we're forming a radius. We're coming up. It's gonna move and we'll be congruent 
into our seat angle. There you go, you see in full form. Okay, just to kind of show this raw exactly what it looks like. We'll get set up on the next one and I'll. Okay, we're forming a radius coming into our seat. using a carbide pilot. <laughs> Okay, I need to get a stylus, but you can see this surface below there, that's a radius. Here's your seat, and right up in the top, it's got two top cuts. It's got a top cut up here. Uh, we did that when we uh, relieved the uh, chambers, and then it's got, uh, I don't know, somewhere between uh, uh, 32, 37 degree right corner break on top of that seat. I'm going to show you here. It's right at about 60 thou. I like that a lot better. It looks really good. Lines up there on the bow. I'll cut the rest of these and I'll get off here. Thank you. Just touching off. That seat there was a little bit lower from the factory. You probably noticed. Not much, just a little bit. It took a little bit more to clean it up, but it it cleaned up really good. That's kind of why we do this over these. There hasn't been one of these seats that lined up yet. And that's not saying that, that theirs is all bad. That's just uh, can be a difference of setup, machines. We get set up on this last seat and I'll machine and I'll call, come back.
Okay, that's all of our exhaust. Okay guys, we're set up on our intake. You can see those intake seats are rather wide also. Check our setup. Okay, last intake seat on uh, the uh, one head got I gave myself a little more room there. <clears throat> Okay, I'm not sure if I'm going to touch these seats with a grind or not. I hadn't decided yet. There you go. Touching them four points all evenly. You just drop that in there, it's got a nice bounce. Looks really good. OK, 
Okay, you can see these other seats. I checked them also. Four points of contact. Give you an idea what this is going to look like with both valves in there. There you go. Super sanitary. Looks good. You can see our valves are all deshrouded nicely. We're not out beyond the gasket perimeter. We're still in the, we're still kind of conservative, kind of safe, but it's good. There you go. Good night, everybody. Okay, guys, I'm going to call it a day here. I still got to cut our intake seats. You can kind of see how wide that intake seat is. Oh, I haven't measured it. It's about... It's about 70, about 70, 70, 75 thousandths. Having a hard time. There you go. About 70, maybe a little better than 70. Sorry about the camera moving.